Hello everyone, this is Dex here. It's been quite a long time since I made my last tutorial, so I decided to finally make a revamped version for my Diamond Factory tutorial. And this time around I'm using Red Power as well, in addition to Equivalent Exchange and Buildcraft. Because of recent changes to Equivalent Exchange, you can no longer convert Cobalt Stone into Coal automatically. Of course, you can use your Philosopher's Stone and transmute them that way, but that's not an automatic. The entire idea behind this factory is that everything is automatic and self-sustaining, of course. There is no maintenance to it. So, the first part is on cobblestone farmers. I'm no, no longer using no longer using uh, quarries because first, using red power is faster, and second, because of again the latest changes to gold exchange, I can't feed them coal every time. I want it to last forever. So, block breakers only require uh, redstone current applied to them. I'm using a timer here, which is set to one half second intervals. And by turning it on, I'm turning eight of them on here, connected to pneumatic tubes, and they're connected to this chest. Then, this chest converts four cobblestone into one clay. That's the first change you couldn't exchange. It doesn't and transmute into redstone dust anymore. Then that clay, six of this clay is transmitted into an iron ingot, which is then transmitted four iron ingots into one gold, then four gold into one diamond, and then all the diamond accumulates in this chest. Those of you new to build craft, the way it works is these crafting benches, automatic crafting benches, are connected to wooden pipes, and Wooden pipes, what they do when powered by a redstone engine, or basically any engine, but redstone engine is free energy, they produce that recipe that, that's in the grid, if it's, a, if it's possible in terms of enough material, it will never use up the material. Uh, one thing you need to know that when you're using it with a equivalent exchange, simply the way the mod works, is that if you're using a recipe using a philosopher's stone, you need to use, you need to have a chest touching it, either way, either top of it, or bottom of it, or any one of the four sides with the Philosopher's Stone in it, and otherwise the recipe simply won't work. I don't know what, why it's like that, but that's simply the way it is. And that's simply it, the, the, that, that factory is self-sustaining, you don't need to maintain it or anything. I hope you found that, that tutorial useful. I personally really like um, the idea of combining all these three mods together, Red Power, Equivalent Exchange and Buildcraft because I think you can make really incredible things with, with them. And that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe.